Hey y'all, this is Anna Alexander. Welcome back to The Basement on this day where we are recuperating still from all the trauma. That was the last episode of X-Men 97. This one is episode six. Some of y'all are spoily spoilers. Good thing I binged the whole thing before I posted them. So I have not read the X-Men comics. The closest I've come to is I read the, and I wanna say it's a couple years ago, but it's probably been seven or eight years ago of Gambit when he went back to his dad and the whole Den of Thieves thing that had nothing to do with the X-Men. But everything I know is from television, shows, movies, whatever. So I didn't know about Cable or Madeline. It's all a surprise. Uh, and I'm enjoying that. I'm enjoying it so much, so much. This show, if it was a bubble bath, you could be in that bath with good, decent suds for weeks. This show has so much soap in it. It is amazing. <laughs> the love triangles and the love triangles and the secret babies. And then we ended with the cliffhanger of cliffhangers who survived. On the surface. Gambit, gone. Magneto, gone. Banshee, toast. Shaw, Dazzler, Moira, it all appears they're gone. But I think you and I are on the same boat where it's X-Men, it's, 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 it's present isn't set in stone yet. Because we saw it. Cable came back, was getting everybody, or attempting to get everybody out of the building. He is coming. He obviously knew something was going to happen on Genosha on this day and was trying to prevent it. So what is to stop him from coming back for days of future passing the shit again and again? So does that take away the threat level, the stakes, if we know that they may be dead now, but they could come back? Maybe. But we like these characters and we want to see them again, so... <laughs> And last week was so crazy, I wasn't even thinking. We left Storm fighting for her very existence with the Crow Raven Owl, Owl Demon. She's fighting that. So I'm guessing based on the title of this episode, that's what we're going to see next. And I'm so excited. I'm so glad that you are here with me. So we're gonna get ready. Under the big cozy blanket, you're going to remember full episode watch along is available on Patreon. And yes, the X-Men drinking game is still on rules. If you need to remember, anytime somebody gets the drop on our game, it's a trap. We take a drink. Anytime somebody attempts to talk down the person trying to fight by just screaming at them to listen to me, take a drink. And those relationship reveals and secret babies. Oh, there's been a lot. And I don't know if you can see it because I flashed it so quick, but I have been using, these are my X-Men, not X-Men, Marvel, Sciency, no one says Wakanda, shot glasses, just to get in the theme. Okay, so now you're ready for me to get to it, so let's just go. The name's Gambit, one of the remembering. Sugar, I can't. <laughs> Seriously. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Ooh, we didn't start with Magneto. We did not start with Magneto. Ooh. And we've added Nightcrawler. Okay. We didn't have Gambit. <laughs> Are we getting Charles back? Part of me like doesn't want to watch these openings because it kind of gives away a little bit about what's happening. And I like the surprise. I like the reveal. I also like to puzzle things out, but I also love the reveal. Oh, was that another watcher? A little outline there. We are in space. We are in space. It is Shi'ar, okay. Shafar or Shi'ar? I can't remember off the top of my head. Surrender? No, just perish. Stand free. Cree! What? Thwart the will of the supreme intelligence. 
Pyrrhic victory. The Kree do not. Be honored to fall at my feet, Ronan. Oh, that is Ronan, Ronan. A million pardons, Your Highness. You dare interrupt my glorious moment? Oh, it's your sister, the Empress. Oh. I can't remember what they did with the sister. One year ago, we offered the skills of our mighty healers to a Terran man on the verge of death. Oh, they called him Terran. They called Charles Terran. Oh. No ordinary Terran. And now, in his greatest feat yet, this man has unlocked the secrets to my heart. But to be fair, that didn't take much worth work at all. He just had to exist. With joyous news in times of war, for your empress is to be married, and our empire shall welcome a new emperor. Who is this? Is that Charles? Professor Charles Xavier. Oh, jazz. Toast to the nuptials. <laughs> you wish to return to your children merely visit families often mimic black holes visit <laughs> and risk being stuck in its ever spiraling vacuum of dramas wow you can tell about her relationship with her family with that line you should message them invite them to the wedding unless you fear they'll think you've abandoned them I think they pretty much feel abandoned, thinking he's never coming back. Once we crush the Kree, an educator such as you can teach them our ways. Is so they trying to crush all the Kree? Will you at least consider Earth? I will. But I remind you, Charles, the virtue of a teacher lies in showing their students how to walk on their own. But only if he is sure there are no more lessons he can teach them. It's such a mess down there, Charles. It's such a mess. Why bother? He's a liar, traitor. How many have suffered his gifts? How many made slaves? Your bite is a sort of demonic infection. Ooh. 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 All lives deserve saving, even his. Let him die. Look the other way. Wait, Forge can't die because then he can't be in the future making all the time travel machines, right? Well, where did that get you? Kissing the hand that beats you? Wow. Wow. I do not fear death. I know. You fear living. I was so tired. Is that why you feel your power sought refuge with this monotone family? Enough! <laughs> family! Wow! Wow! <laughs> you turned your back on these paths long ago! Lord of Chaos! What magical powers do you have now, Forge? I tear your threads and break your Oh, bones. that looks very much like wizard. Strange and whatnot, yeah? Did, did, did we really resolve that that quickly? Its bite is magical. Perhaps your mother's book holds an answer. She wrote about a cacti. It's aloe, it's powerful magic medicine. I can show you the way. You are too weak. Tell me <sighs> where to go. If this nastiness gets worse while you're gone, I don't want to be alone. Then we ride together, my love. So she forgives him. I'm taking it kind of, sort of, mostly enough. She forgives him enough. And her royal consort. Your man speaks as if I am your pet. Mm -hmm. 
Because you are. Not an entirely displeasing thought. Hush now, beloved. You may bark later. So we haven't seen yet if Char Charles still has his psychic gifts or not, have we? We have been trapped in so much change. Some yearn for the stable comfort of what is familiar. Your consort was born on the wrong side of the stars. A union with the Terran would bind the Shi'ar into alliance with his inferior homeworld. Xavier would see his Milky Way ghetto become our new throne world. <laughs> For the sake of the Empire, I must invoke the right of Mdasha. What is the right of Mdasha? The right requires... A non-Shi'ar pass a test of loyalty in order to wed a royal. Not any mere test, Terran. A challenge of my own choosing. To ensure we are protected from your Terran ties. You must destroy Terran. You must renounce Earth and erase all memory of your life there. Charles is a formidable psychic. His mind will not be easily scrubbed. Luckily, we Shi'ar bow to a ruler of equal psychic power. And you, dear sister, must be the one to do it. Ooh. 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 Wow, that's quite the statue. Man, the X and X-Men must stand for sexy. Mm, once enemies, then forced to marry to bring harmony to the universe. Much like your myth, what is united if one half must be erased for the sake of the whole? Idealism is also a sign of insanity. You've made your decision then. Forgive me. I do so love to think. Do you love me, Charles? Do you love him? Even you know Deathbird's challenge goes too far. If you refuse, they won't let us be together. Not unless I forfeit my throne, which is exactly Deathbird's design. Imagine the chaos that my sister would unleash across the galaxy as ruler. It would rival that of my mad brother. Wow, her siblings have issues. Union forces stored weapons here during the Civil War. Those wars exterminated your people. Why let them build such a thing into the very foundations of your land? I don't think they had a choice. <laughs> Before I lost my gifts, I told a friend, my sister, that I often wondered about being Oh my gosh, Storm doesn't know about Madeline and Jean. <gasps> oh. Growing up. I always heard how the worst weapon used by the Europeans was not bullets or blankets, but a white lie that they could make us bleed. <coughs> the cactus grows in darkness. Where? That's why I came. I know how you feel about tight spaces. Oh, no. Oh, no. And do you renounce all memories of Earth, of your life there? I do. Like this won't come back and bite them all in the ass somehow. End of your X-Men. Xavier, do you renounce your X-Men? See? He hesitates. He seeks to ally us with Earth. My God, you are dramatic. How can we entrust our mighty empire to a ruler descended of simians? Have our blood mixed with his inferior freak fluids. Indeed, this Xavier is not even a pure Terran, a lower caste, a mutant. Wow. My sister has gone mad. Wow, this is even worse than it is on Earth. Or at least really similar. Sedition, gladiator, arrest this treacherous vulture and any who dare to stand with her. <gasps> oh! Oh, oh, <laughs> well, that was decisive. Mm. This is crazy pants. And where are the rest of Leandra's cards? I have forgotten my greatest gift. Hear me. Class is now in session. <laughs> Listen to me. What is 
is this? What have you done? <laughs> Gladiator, please raise your hand if you have a question. I have used my vast psychic ability. <laughs> now pay attention. It's time for today's lesson. I kind of wish they just stuck with one. One storyline, please, because they're both, I think, equally important. One at a time, I'd be okay. Oh, no. You had to be the bigger woman. The high road storm. Last stop. You pancaked by the pressure of existing. Submit, and I will save you and let you live your tempting danger. How? Oh. No, you demon. The executioner's neutralizer was not the only weapon tamping down my gifts. There was that lie, and I believed it. You all are an echo of who I am. So let them thunder, for I am lightning. There we go. Ooh. Oh! Oh! Oh, this is when she gets the black outfit! Oh, very cool. Cool! Storm! But Forge is dying. Those boots are great. <laughs> What are demons but reflections of our fears and shame? So what now? You've been given a second chance. Should we whisk away to some tropical island? Not an entirely unpleasant idea. I think she's gonna go home. Demons refusing to allow mutants displaced by the brutal attack on Genosha to return to their home countries. This, as rumors swirl, <gasps> Genosha... Let's talk about power. Who can tell me from where the Shi'ar Imperium draws its might? From the crushed skulls that house inferior minds! Demerits, raise your hand. <laughs> the power of your empire is in truth a harvest of stolen worlds. Had they not been tilled to death, would now be empires rivaling your own. Ooh. You strike at the knees and claim you can help them walk again. Ooh. Ooh. Which brings us to this conclusion. Your bullies? The GR Empire is a snake oil racket. Why? Says who? Who made up these silly rules? We did, beloved. Even if we were to agree, your idealism would confuse our people. Want to know a secret? Coexistence is messy. Thus my love for education. And all of us, very young. Born of ancient stardust, and all children of the atom. Oh, you saw Genosha. Oh, you saw Genosha. No! No! Oh, my children! My children of the atom! Destroyed! Who he called them children of the atom? Were the mutants always called children of the atom? Earth immediately. While I cowered in the cosmos, the unthinkable has happened. Charles, if you leave, you will prove my sister right about your kind. That he cares? If that should end our star-crossed affair, so be it. It is time I return to my X-Men. I did what you asked. I gave you my DNA to access Master Mold. Uh. <gasps> And don't fret the future. Why, Genosha was merely the beginning of a prologue, now past. You have nothing to fear, so long as you place your faith in Sinister. Sinister. 
What's sinister? I'm tired. <laughs> So Charles is heading back to Earth and will disappear. <laughs> and everyone who believed he was dead would go, he's risen. Oh, is it very Jesus-like? Is there a metaphor there we're supposed to see? This show has been moving at a quick pace. So I guess the fact that they tied up Storm so quickly, I wonder, I wonder, I wonder if it would have been better if we had had like life and death parts one and two together as one episode, and then we could have had Motendo and Charles as another episode, or would that have been too jarring? Or well, did they believe Storm, just Storm and Forge, Storm and Forge in it wasn't enough of their own to carry a whole half hour? Or maybe I'm just overthinking this because that's what I do. But the back and forth, flippy flippy, was kind of jarring to me. Whereas when we had episode four, it was one whole one set and one whole the other set. Kind of seemed a little bit more smoother. Preference? Personal preference. Which would you have preferred? I wonder. I'd be curious to know. Or I am curious to know. <laughs> so yes, the whiskey is hitting me. So Sinister was behind Genosha. Not Apocalypse, but Sinister. I'm trying to remember, what was Sinister's ultimate goal? Because why do I think it was, he was just experimenting to create like the perfect mutant, like the, the perfect mutant, and then take over the world? But if he destroys all the mutants so that he alone can take over the world, what is his, please remind me what his actual goal was, because he caused fuck ton of destruction. It wasn't though until partway through this episode that I remembered when Storm had left. Baby Nathan was just born, he was still here. There was only one gene. Genosha hadn't burned to the ground. Storm's missed a lot. <laughs> She's missed so much. So I think I heard that there's two more episodes left. They've got a lot to pack in if we're going to have any sort of satisfaction or will they live with leave us with a big cliffhanger again the pacing's been pretty pretty quick so i guess they could wrap it up but what after all this what could they possibly leave us with you can only threaten to destroy the world so many times before you go okay yeah we're destroying the world again. i'm excited i'm excited to see where we go and i want you there with me for that adventure, thank you so much for being with me. It has been so much fun with you all. Watch the spoilers though, please. But leave anything else you want, but just watch the spoilers. But I do love hearing from you. So don't forget to hit subscribe, uh, take care of yourself. This is your reminder if you haven't in a while to stand up. Also your reminder to go eat something and then you're gonna come back and watch the next video in the queue. So thanks again, you all, and until next time. <laughs>